All right, what's up, guys? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you a another TCGO match, and this time I'm using a couple of Kiram decks, or, or just a Kiram deck, really. Um, I've been at kind of a loss about what I felt like playing. The metagame has been a little bit stale for me the last week or so, and um, I've always really liked Kiram. And I didn't actually play a whole lot of games with him back when Noble Victories was uh, the big thing. So I decided to revisit uh, the Kyurem card, see if I could get him to work in this metagame. And uh, I just love spread decks in general, so really wanted to try out Kyurem. And I figured Kyurem with a Violet is a force to be reckoned with. And uh, if Experience Share was working, I would just make the quad dragons deck but that wasn't an option so i went with what i think is the next best thing and that's uh electrode and i just play only curum and terrakion the idea behind this deck is to only give up one prize it has no ex attackers and uh lots of violites so it's just get these violites on these big basic pokemon spread damage and then um revenge with terrakion when needed and so that's what we're going to try to do here. So I get two Kyurems to lead. I'm going to go ahead and bench them both. Normally that might not be the best idea, but since this is an Electrode deck, hopefully um, I'll be able to get an Electrode up pretty quickly. And that will, you know, kind of limit the usefulness of Catcher since I'll be able to just blow up and put damage on whatever my active is. So my opponent leads a Zekrom, and then he drops a Eel on the bench, so this is yet another Zeal's matchup. I bet you guys are probably uh, getting pretty tired of seeing this deck, um, but it is the best deck in the format right now, and I would not expect that to change anytime soon, so just learn to appreciate it. It is a very cool deck. Um, it's great to watch how it functions. I think it's a really solid deck, and I, I like watching Zeal's matchups. I know a lot of you guys don't, but hey, at least I'm not the one playing it this time, for those of you who don't like it. So, uh, Dual Tails on the Dual Ball, because that's the rule. Every time Ninja plays Dual Ball, the first one is Dual Tails. Um, after that, it, it kind of evens out, but the first one is always Double Tails. So, uh, that's cool. And then I play the Level Ball which probably shouldn't have done, but I guess it's okay because now it's in my discard pile, so that immediately turns all junk arms into level balls as well. And I don't get end here, so I will get an electrode up, which is fantastic. Um, I'm in pretty good shape. All I need to do is hit one energy, and I'll be good to go with the glaciating. So I'm going to drop Terrakion here, and go for another dual ball, get two more tails, because I'm awesome like that, and I don't need to flip heads. So I have the Poke Gear in my hand. I decide just to go ahead and play that now. Again, just because I want it in my discard pile, uh, so I have access to it later. And here we go. One energy. Yep. <laughs> exactly one energy. So that sucks. Uh, was hoping for at least a couple more, but I mean, at least I didn't whiff completely. So. I get an energy here, and um, I can hey I can use that twins next turn I guess woohoo! Uh, but this is one of the big downsides of the electro deck. I play 16 energy in this deck, uh, 15, 15 or 16, quite a bit more than most decks, just to maximize the probability of hitting it. And I still only hit one, so that sucks. Uh, at least I get to glaciate this turn, and uh, now down comes a Mewtwo. So. This is not a good situation for me. Uh, you know, I would like more energies on my board because I'm going to need to have an answer for that Mewtwo eventually. So here, I decide just to go ahead and attach the rainbow energy to my Terrakion and then play Twins. Um, going to do everything I can to stall and not take damage. So I get a Catcher and a Voltorb, and I'm figuring can play the Voltorb down now. Next turn, uh, catch out the Eel, hopefully keep it stuck there for a turn, and then next turn I can Oak and hopefully get into another Electrode so that I can get some more energy on the board if I need it, because I'm going to need energy to take on that Mewtwo. So uh, 
Here, just hoping that my opponent does not have a switch. If I can get one turn, one free turn here without taking a counterattack, I'll be in pretty good shape. But that doesn't happen. Uh, switch back into Zekrom and Catcher. So he is going to take prize on my Voltorb, which is a really good move. Uh, I think he would have been shy of KO and Curum, so I really like this play from him. Cutting off my energy acceleration. Um, and then he's going to go for an N, which is fine with me. I was planning to Oak next turn anyhow. So sucks that I draw into the Electrode now that my Voltorb is about to get KO'd, but... At least I've gotten a Violite, and uh, he actually plays a Lost Remover here, which is kind of odd in a Zeal's deck. Normally, I don't really like that um, tech option. I think there are way better cards you could tech than Lost Remover, especially since the majority of the time uh, you want energy attached to them since it helps power up Mewtwo's X-Ball. But hey, in, uh, in this instance, it really pays off for him because he is able to get rid of my energy on Terrakion. So he obviously recognizes that energy denial is the best way to go against an Electrode deck, and he puts me in a really tough spot. I can, um, I can Glaciate here. That is going to kill the Eel, so I'll be able to cut off his energy acceleration, but then my Curum is going to go down next turn, and that puts me in a bit of a pickle. Um... Excuse me, now that I'm aware that he plays Lost Remover, I need to be very careful about when I drop my special energies. And so what I decide to do here is actually go for Twins. And I believe I grab a basic Fighting Energy and a, something else. I wanted a Voltorb, but hey, look at that. I have two Voltorbs prized this match, so that's cool. Uh, things just really, really not going my way. Uh... Two Voltorbs prized. Uh, what else? Uh, double Tails on the Dual Ball. He had the Switch. Yeah, just feel like I'm fighting an uphill battle. And uh, it's pretty frustrating. So without Voltorb, I'm just like, well, shit. What do I want? Um, there's no need to get a draw supporter since I have the N in hand. I decide, hey, I'll just grab an Aviolite because why the hell not? I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> And, um, oh, wow, I go for the Outrage here. Uh, okay, that's interesting. I don't know why I didn't just Glaciate, because I could have killed that eel and then shut off his energy acceleration. I guess I figured, I don't know, I didn't want him to outrage again i don't know i think i probably should have gone for the glaciate there i'm sure i had a reason at the time but <laughs> this match was a while ago and i don't know what it was so anyhow at least i took a prize that's good and now he's gonna junk arm throw away an eel and something else to get a lost remover and i'm taking this to mean he doesn't have an energy in his hand because had he had an energy it would have been far better to just play it on me too and take the KO. So um, he leaves me with what looks like a hundred damage on my Curum. And this again puts me in a very interesting situation. I can outrage this Mewtwo for big damage or I can uh, spread with Glaciate and it looks like I decide, oh okay I only had 50. So I guess I decide just to do 70 to Mewtwo um, and soften it up so that I can take it out with something else. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think I definitely should have killed off that eel one of these turns. 70 damage on Mewtwo is not that big of a difference. It doesn't put it into two hit KO range for anything. So, uh, yeah, I play the level ball just to get it out of my hand and at least I have the catcher so I, I will be able to take a prize on the eel this turn just by catching it out, but really um, a couple of bad turns for me, I think. I would have been much better off taking that thing out before and just putting 30 on Mewtwo because 30 is going to be essentially as good as 70 right now just because of the way my damage output kind of spreads around for this deck. But anyhow, what's done is done. I end up taking out the eel anyhow and leave him with just a Mewtwo on his bench. You'll notice before when he junk-armed, he uh, actually threw away 
one of the Tynamos, so it looks like he's just abandoning the idea of getting an eel out completely. And uh, he's going to try to go after me. But then he realizes, I guess that's not going to work, and he quits. So that was the match. Uh, I think he quit a little bit early, but I, did, I was in pretty good position. So now I have just a little bonus clip for you guys. Um, I was trying out a for alligator build with Kiram 2. I really don't like this build of the deck. I think Electrode is the way to go. But um, anyhow, I didn't get any good matches with it. I did get this one. You'll see me circling the time up there. My opponent, this is like... I don't know, turn three, and my opponent has taken 15 minutes to do anything, so I just sat through it because I really wanted to get this down, and I'm going to glaciate and kill four things here, so I'm absolutely going to devastate his side of the field. Uh, he wasn't playing a very good deck, so I didn't think it would make for a good video on its own, but I definitely wanted to put this up because it's not very often you get to see Kyurem take four prizes in one turn, so... That was just really great, uh, the reason I love playing this deck. I love turns like this. Look at that. From five prizes to one in a single turn. And I leave him stranded with just a Larvesta, which I take out. So that's going to be the bonus clip for the day. Um, comment, rate, sub, leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. I know it wasn't probably as great as some of the other ones I have, but uh, like I've mentioned, pretty much every time I'm just having a hard time getting any matches to actually stay through the whole match so i kind of have to take what i can get um at least it was a decent deck it was against a meta relevant deck and uh it was pretty good so anyhow that is going to be it uh the end of pokemon plus nobunaga's ambition will be this weekend so stay tuned for that and i'll have more tcg coming your way shortly too thanks guys